All right, you have a choice. If you could only have one machine, are you gonna get a laptop or a desktop? Go. But what if there was a new third option that's been creeping up and slowly getting more and more popular? And yes, we know we've seen these things around before, right? There's a famous mini called a Mac mini. It's a little bigger than this. Today, I'm going to dive into the possibility that caught my eye and got me thinking. What if you use a machine that could be either a desktop or a laptop? Obviously, this will work in my office. No point in testing that. But I want to see how this will be out and about. Speaking of making things easier, they're definitely going for the uh, Mac Mini aesthetic here. What are the pros? What are the cons? And the most important question is, what are the costs? Because when you buy a laptop, you're buying everything in one. The keyboard, the mouse, the trackpad, the display, all in one case. And you have to kind of commit to all those peripherals that come with your laptop. Sometimes the screen is good, but the keyboard is bad. Sometimes the keyboard is good, but the trackpad is bad. Even on my MacBook Pro, the trackpad is amazing, but I still use a mouse. So that's my preference. Can you put together a system that's going to be portable, easy to use, powerful, have lots of I.O., and be able to use whatever peripherals you want and I got some good ones today. Let's go. Now with the laptop, it's easy. You just slide it in, zip up, and you're off. Simple. But when you're setting up a portable workstation with a mini PC, things aren't quite as straightforward. You gotta choose your own mini PC, monitor, keyboard, mouse. It takes a little bit more effort up front. But here's the fun part. I get to pick exactly what I want. Do I want budget-friendly peripherals or do I want high-end ones? I have the freedom to upgrade them anytime I want too. Same thing with the mini PC. You can upgrade this too. I got recently upgraded this one to 96 gigabytes to run an LLM on. It, a 70 billion parameter llama monster. I have a previous video. I'll link to it down below. Now, when you get to your destination, the setup process isn't exactly as easy as a laptop, especially with a monitor. And today I'm using the Espresso 17 inch Pro Display. It's a beautiful screen. And while it barely fits into my backpack, it's worth it. I've been using the 15 inch model for a couple months now. And I've been using it as a second screen with my MacBook Pro most of the time. And so far it's been my favorite until I just tried the 17 inch Pro which is now my favorite. The cool thing is these displays work with a MacBook and provide touchscreen capabilities. Also on a MacBook, you can power and run video to them with one cable, Thunderbolt 4. However, I discovered that with this particular mini PC, the setup is a little bit different. You got to run a power cable to the monitor as well as one of the USB-C cables from the PC to run video. Anyway, not a big deal. That's why I like to carry an extension cord with lots of plug options. Now this B-Link mini PC has a lot of ports, USB-C, two of them USB-A, four of those, two audio jacks, an ethernet port, a display port, HDMI, and if you're running it to an external monitor with HDMI or display port, you shouldn't have any issues like that, depending on the kind of monitor you're using externally. It's just that the Espresso one that I'm using only has USB-C inputs. So after setting it up, I just leave the little mini PC down on the floor next to me. Not weird at all. And surprisingly, I didn't even get kicked out. For the keyboard, I chose the Keychron K7 Max. I'll have links to these down below, by the way, if you're curious in picking these up. I really like this keyboard because it's so light and so portable. Portable, yet it's still a mechanical keyboard. I've been getting into mechanical keyboards lately. I tried it a couple years ago. I wasn't really into it, but now after I tried this one, the Keychron Q1, this is the Q1 Max variety. Ah, uh, I'm not into the RGB thing, but I do like the feel of this keyboard. However, it's a monster. It's heavy. This is also mechanical by Keychron similar but not quite. It has a really nice feel but it's super light. These keyboards work over Bluetooth and so does the mouse but I always prefer the 2.4 gigahertz dongle for historic reasons I guess because Bluetooth didn't used to work very well as it does now. I've been using the MX Anywhere mouse for many years. I have collected a bunch of these. They last for a couple years then they die and then I buy another one and that's the beauty of this setup. You can start with budget-friendly options, a cheaper monitor, a cheaper keyboard or a mouse and gradually upgrade each component as needed. Even the mini PC itself itself is upgradable. Once this is outdated, you can keep your peripherals if you love them and just get a new PC or just upgrade the PC itself with putting new RAM inside if you need to. And that's the thing about this kind of setup. Yes, uh, the convenience is not there, but I think spending about a minute to set up versus a couple of seconds is not bad, considering you get an option of what mini PC you get. You get to pick whether you want the more pricey keyboard or the really cheap portable keyboard. 
you get to pick what kind of mouse you have. Something like this, probably 40 bucks. Something like this, probably 80 bucks. I don't know, what, five bucks? It'll work. And uh, of course, you get to pick what monitor you use as well. Do you want something 17 inches and expensive, but it has touchscreen capabilities, it's beautiful, it's bright, it works on USB-C? Or do you want something smaller and cheaper? This is 150 bucks for a monitor. So I can build up the system and go anywhere from, I'm gonna just ballpark it, five to 600 bucks for this portable setup. And what I have is probably about 15 or $1,600 which is coming close to the price of a new laptop, a medium laptop, right? We're still under the price of an M3 MacBook Air, definitely under the price of a MacBook Pro. And we're in the area of something like an Asus ZenBook, for example. And let's do a quick comparison here. Yes, this is an OLED screen. It is very nice. It's not as big as the 17 inch one. I'm using this keyboard instead of the mechanical one. I'm using a trackpad, which is not that great. So really I won't be using the trackpad. I still have to have the mouse. This does have decent speakers built in. PCs are getting better at their speakers. Not all of them, but some of them. Still not catching up to MacBooks as far as speakers go, but they're getting better. But I can't upgrade this at all. It is the way it is. I can put more RAM into mini PCs. Just a reminder that I have a load of ports and different mini PCs have different amounts of ports, and different kinds of ports. So you wanna be careful and you wanna examine exactly your requirements. If you need Thunderbolt or USB 4, make sure that your mini PC has that capability. In general, on a box like this, you're gonna have actual fans and bigger fans and more cooling. So you're gonna get probably more performance, although that's not always the case. Also, this particular B-Link machine right here is quiet. I was actually surprised. It's running an Intel chip in there. So <laughs> it's the mobile chip. So these are the more efficient Intel chips, not the Core i7 or the Core i9. Those would not do so well in here, but the Core Ultras do pretty well in these. However, I have noticed a difference. I've been comparing some of these. And for example, this one is much louder than this one. This one's pretty quiet. I was pretty impressed, but they have very different features. So it really depends on what you need. And this video is not about comparing these. Let me know if you want to see something like that though. Now, when you're doing a setup like this, you got to remember you have to be next to a power outlet. Even though these are pretty efficient, carrying a battery <laughs> will add significant weight to your backpack. I didn't want to do that. And of course, if you need to run away quickly from wherever you are doing your work, you're not going to be able to quickly run away. Like if there's a monster chasing you, you're pretty much toast unless you leave your setup behind. Whereas with a laptop, you can just close it quickly and run away from the monster. What do you think? Is this something you would ever do? In general, I found that I was sitting there and I was really enjoying working on this setup. So I kind of liked it. Would I keep doing it? I don't know. Maybe. To be honest, I'd probably bring my MacBook Pro since that's my daily driver and keep using the external display as my second display. I do like having a mechanical keyboard now. I think I'm getting a little bit spoiled by that. Ah, uh, but that's just an extra thing to carry. By the way, this video doesn't have a sponsor, but I do want to thank the members of the channel. Thank you so much. And if you want to join, there is a join button right down below. Members get badges, emojis, live streams, and access to other videos. Thanks again. So let me know if you would do something like this or not. Is it too crazy to be sitting out there like that? I think there's more pros in this setup than cons. Uh, if you do want to see that video where I put 96 gigs of RAM in this machine and run an LLM on it and check it out right over here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.